Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm here at my desk with the Lorishek steering wheel and today I'm going to talk about the top five cars I think you need in a Zeta Corsa. Now these cars are cars which I've found over the past few months that I've really been enjoying since buying a steering wheel that I think would definitely improve your Zeta Corsa experience. Now, let's chat for me. Let's jump into the game and hope you guys enjoy the video. Right, so the car I'm in is our first car and this is a Nissan GTR R34 Hell Spec Edition. Now what makes this car so special is it might just look on the outside like a typical R34, but inside the engine, <clears throat> there's a few changes. 950 brake or 900 and different exhaust, um, different wheel inside, you still got the same turbo gauge. Um, little infotainment system which when you go into reverse shows you a nice little camera. Now the main reason I love this car first of all the sound it sounds insane um, nice crackles and pops it can be a bit too much at a time but, um, we'll take it around here and I'll just let you listen for yourselves you'd get in hell to be honest. Now I've heard some people in the community say that this car is a bit outrageous in terms of sound but I can't drive. And obviously we're running the custom shaders mod as well so we get some lovely flames as well. Yeah, it's nice. Now, as a car, the rear wheel isn't actually as outrageous as you think. But I'm going to assume that's because it's more of the all wheel drive car. So this car is next up on my list. This is the Hush E36 M3 Drift Pack. Well, Drift Car, from the Drift Pack. I can't quite remember exactly what cars are in the Drift Pack, so I will list them here. But this is a great beginner's drifting pack. Now, I'm not gonna do any um, tuning out of it, but it comes pretty good stock. Sound, sounds like an E30. I just charge controls off. And we're sliding straight away. Now this is the something something drift pad. Anyway, my focus face is on right there, but it is just a lovely car. Like, it just sounds like an E36 Oh, so definitely, like, if you're someone who wants to get into drifting and set a course up, I would definitely recommend this pack because it is so easy to slide. It's also got this really cool rooftop view, I really like it. the best run I've ever had of this car. Sick little car, really gorgeous body kit as well, I thought I'd mention that. Nice wheels, just all around, quite literally, a decent little car. Now 
Now this bad boy of a car is a Honda Civic SIR edition. I think it's an EG. I don't know my Honda's that well, but this is a push and pee tune car which um he does or is it a spoon i put a name in a person that tunes it and um yeah this car is fucking sick like give a little teaser on um just uh neutral very very honda so this car is rocking i think it's 420 um, wheel horsepower, it's front wheel drive car, no traction control, and um, it, it just sounds cool, it's cool to drive. It doesn't have the most amazing downforce, but um, what we'll do is in true Honda Civic style, I'm going to bring it to a stop, put it into first gear, launch it, and um, we'll go. I now feel like a proper Honda driver. And this car has a very strong handbrake, so if I put my foot on the clutch, foot accelerator, put the handbrake down, and I go to clutch, you might think, oh, nothing's happening, surely. Just wheel spinning. And just sick little flames, I mean. Well, I'm back in my Fiat Pinto. Foot on the clutch, accelerator in, launch control. Yeah, man. Do you ever get that moment in his Zeta Corsa where you're like, do you know what? I fancy making a twin turbo wide body E30 rotary. Well, this is exactly what that car this car is. So this, as you can see, is an older E30. Um with a rotary in it. Which first of all sounds absolutely insane. I mean the inside, first of all, it sounds like you're in a race car. And um we've got SpongeBob as um Jason in there. If I floor it a little bit. Not quite enough there. Flames! Those flames are insane. I do try to drift this car. But it's too much power. Now, as you can see, currently in a Brabus GLS 800 SUV, I think it's called, 1200 wheel horsepower. Looks sick. This is for those rich entrepreneurs which have too much money and they just buy the same SUV. Now that would shatter the streets of London. Yeah, so fully automatic gearbox. Um, it's got like Android Auto built in as well, which I don't know how to get to work. But we'll, we'll just, I'll just let you enjoy these sounds. track on the Nürburgring ring because it just sounds a bit too savage and also it handles like an absolute boat we'll try and drift around this corner
car is just just savage. Even if you want to piss around and drift. So that was my top five cars I think you need in a Zeta Corsa. Let's have a bit of fun, piss around, and drive fast. Excuse the sweat, it's really hot in my office right now. But I hope you guys did enjoy that video. If you are new around here, then please do click that subscribe button. Leave a like, share with your friends, and comment below if there's any cars that I've missed. Or if you want to see a car, and I can see if I can find it in a, Z a Zeta Corsa world database. Anyway, have a good one, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Also, thank you for 210 subscribers.